hello everyone welcome to elite club and today i am going to show you how to check average fuel efficiency in hyundai elite i20 using obd2 port and also i am going to show you where is obd2 port located in the car and which app i am using and how to configure the app let's start Here is the fuse box. You can see. You have to pull this one. And uh, here is this OBD2 port located. And just you have to connect this device. Here. And you can see a red light is. blinking there here I am using torque light app before opening this application just go to Bluetooth just link this OBD device here And the password is 1234. It's a default password. Click OK. Yes, your device is in paired list. And now come to this and open this Torque Light app. And here go to settings. And again, settings. OBD2 adapter settings connection type here we have Bluetooth as this device is Bluetooth device and we have uh, a device with Wi-Fi functionality as well in the market as this is a Bluetooth device in the connection I have selected Bluetooth and choose Bluetooth device here and as this is a V-Link I'm selecting that one and come back and let's see you can see the device is connecting here now checking to auto, auto search meanwhile we can see the screens here and this is a page and we have this dials configured here revs accelerator acceleration coolant kpl kilometers per liter I think this is the instant one and this is KPL average average mileage and here this air temperature same I'll show you how to add these dials in these pages let's go to settings here and here you can see add display and here you can select type of display whether it is a dial graph or display display and here you have uh, many sensors data you can add to the display here I'm adding engine rpm it's a small size and uh, display here I'm adding fuel efficiency kilometers per liter instant and kilometers per liter long term average so I'm going to take kilometers per liter long term average and I'm going to add one more display dial For example, again I am going to select engine RPM. Here I am selecting both 
uh, engine RPM one is dial and one is display and you can add as many as display according to your preference let's start the engine yes now uh, this device is connected to the mobile phone